This is gonna be a game changer on how you create light effects in Photoshop. Nidic version 2.3 is here with an exciting huge list of updates that are sure to take your creative experience to the next level. From new UI language support and tone mapping algorithms to our highly anticipated Onidic Race feature. Without further ado, let's dive into what's new in this free update. These are two main importance features that have been requested from the community for a long time. UI language support and tooltips. From the new configuration tab, now you can use your native language to use your Onidic UI. Tooltips appear when hovering over a parameter providing information about its function. This can be enabled or disabled from the configuration tab. From the main window, Onenic used to have the channel section. Now it has been renamed to Mask Builder and we added an Outlines button. With this function, you can create an outline mask from the selected layer pixels. This is perfect for rim lights or outline text effects. It's up to you on how creative you use it. Better UI distribution. We made a dedicated panel for the glare effect, which encapsulates its parameters inside one panel and it comes with a few new features, and we'll get into them in a few moments. From the main settings panel, we have input highlights customization. The input image highlights can be customized to be flattened or preserved. When using the flatten option, it gives more space to the threshold to play with. In preserve mode, the highlights are not altered. It is all about experimenting and seeing what fits better for your images. In the transition options, the hard type has been renamed to precise. The dynamic range slider has been renamed to DR compression. Dynamic range compression. As technically, it compresses the dynamic range values when it is being increased. Here's a cool trick. When using high DR compression values, you can make your glow chroma super vibrant and then you can compensate lower in the threshold. The exposure limit values had been adjusted. Onidic used to have plus 5 as maximum and minus 5 as minimum. Now it has been increased to plus 10 on the maximum and minus 10 on the minimum, giving you more control over Onidic Glow's power. A very requested feature is aspect ratio. Onidic Glow distribution can now be adjusted to build more creative glows. When using values higher than 1, the distribution of the glow can be adjusted and the rotation slider is enabled so the glow direction can be rotated. When turning back the aspect ratio to its default value, which is 1, the rotation slider is hidden as the glow distribution becomes uniform again. A colorized status has been added to the color section to make it even more noticeable when the colorized mode is enabled. As you can see, if we switch from panel to panel, the color section is now always visible, so there's no need to go back to the main panel to adjust the color. The mask section has been a little bit compacted to optimize the UI distribution and have a better user experience. This is another game changer feature, introducing tone mapping. Utilizing an exponential photographic response algorithm, this tone mapping function adjusts exposure and gamma to map HDR colors into a perceptually uniform display referred range. By mimicking real-world filmic response, it effectively compresses highlights and reduces color banding, preserving detail in the brightest regions. If you are aiming to have smoother glows, well, this is the way. Another game-changer feature is the ability to enable 32-bit glow engine with any image. Since version 2.0, Onedic was able to work with 32-bit images, but the high bit depth engine was only activated when the input image was in 32 bits. Now, inside Onedic, you can process any image in 32 bit by turning on the switch, bringing those super smooth glows and gorgeous colors. Creating synergy with the tone map function, you can get the best glows possible out there. We are starting to introduce real time updates. Chromatic aberration and X ray can now be previewed in real time. This option can be enabled or disabled in the configuration tab. For the chromatic aberration, the real time can be only felt with the offset type, as the center type is a little bit more computationally expensive. It just takes a little bit more to process. Glare has been upgraded with two new features, gamma and sharpness. With gamma, you can increase the values to make the rays more visible. Same with the sharpness parameter slider, but with this one you can make the glare streaks look sharper, hence increasing the visibility. 
play around with these new features to see what fits within your created workflow. Under the FX tab, we have renamed the Light Dispersion to Chromatic Aberration. Now, the Chromatic Aberration distribution can be adjusted using the Rotation Slider, and the intensity of the effect can be also adjusted. The last one is very helpful when using high blur values, as blurring can potentially reduce the opacity of the colors, increasing the intensity brings back the effect. Or you can get crazy and boost the glow's power too. Chromatic aberration changes can be previewed in real time when the option is enabled under the configuration tab. This works fast for offset type, but when using the center type, this can get a little bit laggy to be real time, and this is more computationally expensive. Nevertheless, it will render very fast. When using the center type, an icon will appear, which, when clicking it, enables Photoshop's color sample tool and you can tell on it where the center point will be by clicking on the canvas, so the chromatic aberration will be distributed from that center point. Now, this is our favorite and most awaited Oniric feature since we announced it. Introducing Oniric Rays. This is a huge game changer feature, a very important update for Oniric, as it opens a new dimension for creativity and insane light effects. The customization of Oniric Rays can render super cool results that weren't possible with older versions. We cannot wait to see what the community creates with this feature. A lot of powerful and carefully crafted new pro presets have been added to the factory section, so anyone can have more starting points or ideas on how to bring out Oniric's full power. Oniric has been heavily optimized with a performance boost and faster render times when clicking the save button, the opacity of the X-ray having reduced a bit more so it is easier to see what's behind it. And a final small detail, right clicking on any slider resets the parameter to its default value. We cannot wait to see you get created with these new features and the whole new Unreal 2.3 environment. We did a lot of R&D to make this happen for you. And the best part, this update is totally free if you own an Oniric 2.0 license. We are very thankful to the community for its feedback. This update has been possible thanks to a lot of you who enjoy Oniric as much as we enjoy developing its evolution. We have been working very hard to build the best image processing software out there and this is just the beginning. We cannot wait to share with you what we've been working on for the future of Composite Nation. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. My name is Mario Vera. We are Composite Nation.